my lab at ISA Pune, we have been studying uh, interaction of light with uh, matter and the matter can be of a micron size or nanometer scale. Now when you shine light, specifically laser light onto let us say molecules or nanostructures, two interactions which are of very high importance to understand both structure of matter and the light itself is uh, Raman scattering and fluorescence. Raman process is essentially an inelastic scattering process, which is named after Nobel laureate Sir C. V. Raman. The interaction of light with uh, vibrational energy states in a molecule or in a material gives a response which is unique to that particular material. Whereas fluorescence generally occurs because of the interaction of light with electronic excitations. And uh, these two processes generally overlap in space and in terms of the spectroscopic signatures what we actually can capture in our detector. And it has kind of emerged as one of the very powerful tools in physics, chemistry and off late also in biology. Raman scattering is a very important process but a very weak process. Now Raman scattering is in between a lot of junk. So rather it's like a needle in a haystack sort of a problem. So to overcome this disadvantage one uses something called as surface enhanced Raman scattering. You will have to utilize some kind of technique which can discriminate them in time and preferably also in space. So if one needs to discriminate in time, you will have to utilize a very sophisticated technique called as time resolved spectroscopy methodologies. So we were interested to know whether we can actually discriminate between Raman scattering and fluorescence utilizing some other nanophotonic techniques. And what we found as a process of doing a specific kind of an experiment is that one will not have to restore always to time gating techniques, whereas one can switch over to something called as momentum space techniques. The idea is that you actually take molecule or material of interest and bring in close proximity to let us say a metallic nanostructure. So here it is a special cavity where it is elongated in one of the dimensions and it is contracted in the other dimension. Specifically, it is a silver wire on a gold film. Now the molecules are in between or rather sandwiched between silver wire and gold film. The metal nanostructure now acts like an antenna, meaning it not only actually enhances the light which is emerging out of this molecule in terms of either Raman scattering or fluorescence, it also can direct the light in a specific angle. Depending upon the cavity. So what we did was we excited one end of the cavity and we collected the light from the other end since the cavity is an elongated cavity. Now the light which is coming from the other end we analyzed its momentum signatures rather the angular signatures which are coming out. And we found that the Raman scattering is getting emitted in a particular direction while the other processes rather here molecular fluorescence is getting emitted in the other direction. The most interesting thing to happen during the research was actually to develop this technique. Where you have both spectroscopic information and angular information, uh, that, was the, that was the major you know, hurdle we faced. The amount of effort the students have put in to develop this methodology is tremendous because one, one had to really master a specialized optical microscopy technique. Very few laboratories across the world have the ability to do some kind of Fourier plane Raman scattering microscopy technique. In a way, we are very uh, glad that we have been able to achieve that in our laboratory. Actually, a lot of credit goes to the students who put a lot of effort, including Adarsh and also an undergraduate student, Harshavardhan Job, who played a very uh, important role in this particular uh, work. And of course, this work was also done in collaboration with some of the researchers at Center for Nanoscale Materials at Argan National Lab. All the experiments were done in our laboratory at ISAR Pune, but for some advanced high resolution numerical simulations, we actually had a very nice collaboration with the group of Stephen Gray and Gary Wichert at Center for Nanoscale Materials in Argan National Lab. And uh, we were glad that we actually had a very nice collaboration and uh, this led to the publication of the paper in uh, Nanoletters in 2018.